Hello, beautiful. You look gorgeous. Today we're talking all about the five-step Brad Mondo wave routine. Yes, it's iconic. This will show you how to go from slightly wavy hair to big, voluminous, sexy, tight waves. This will also show you how to go from your already curly hair to even curlier. These five steps are easy to follow. These are things that I do every time I'm styling natural hair texture. Even for my seasoned vets on styling curly hair that are watching, Watching, you'll learn a thing or two as well. I get asked all the time how I bring hair from this to this or this to this. I'm gonna show you guys the secrets to doing that in just five steps. So first we need good products to do a good hair routine, duh. And if you don't use hair products on your natural hair texture in order to make it wavier or curly, you're never gonna get there. The products are the most important. And today of course we're talking about my brand new line of wave products known as the WaveTech Wave System. This system consists of five different products. Let's first start with two new products. First up for brand new products, we have our WaveTech Wave Shampoo and and WaveTech Wave Conditioner. Iconic! Each one of our WaveTech products has our WaveFlex technology built into every single one of them. That is our proprietary blend of ingredients that only X Mondo can use in their Wave products. This creates a molecular barrier on your hair strand for defined waves with remarkable flexibility. Our shampoo here also has sunflower seed oil and grapeseed oil. Incredible! Incredible for moisturizing your hair and not weighing it down, but really important for keeping your curls intact, in shape, strong and healthy and shiny. And our conditioner has moringa oil and argan oil built into it. Also extremely beneficial for restoring your hair and preventing breakage. Because we don't want that, we want healthy, sexy waves forever. Up next, we have our WaveTech Hydrating Wave Cream. Ah! This component just feels so right. And you'll know what I'm talking about when you get this product. Like. It just feels so good in my hands. <laughs> this is in a beautiful pump bottle. It has a satisfying cap that clicks on. This product is going to give you an incredible base to work on. You can totally use this product by itself as well. This is used to hydrate dry or damaged hair and also increase your wave or curl pattern. It will also keep frizz down throughout the day and make your style last throughout the week. This has two oils in it, coconut oil and argan oil. I want this cream to not feel heavy, but be very moisturizing. And that's exactly what we did. It feels lightweight, but your hair really feels moisturized. It doesn't get weighed down, it stays fluffy and gorgeous, and it doesn't feel like your curls are all stuck together and clumped up, because I hate that. Then we have our iconic WaveTech Wave Foam. You guys already know what this is, okay? It is a very potent blend of WaveFlex technology. It is an extremely lightweight formula. It's gonna give your hair that bounce and that grip it needs to stay in that really wavy formation that you put it in when you scrunch. This is like your go-to for effortless styling, and all you gotta do is go, put it in, run away, you're good. This is going to create those waves and those curls for you so you have maximum definition. And lastly, this seems to be people's favorites. With all of our testing we did, this one was the star. Our WaveTech Wave Revival Mist was the standout. This is the spray you use on the second day, the third day, the fourth day, and even the first day. This is the thing I love to use once the hair is all dry, even like a couple hours later, just spray it over everything and give it a little more of a zhush and it just puts that little final touch on everything like just makes everything look beautiful this product also has glycerin built into it so that it sucks in the moisture from the hair but also keeps it inside the hair for longer and provenum and b5 to make the hair feel and look fuller as well as improve damage this is the thing you keep in your purse your car your boyfriend your girlfriend's house anywhere just to do a little oh i'm looking fresh to death again you know what i mean like it's that type of thing now that we know which products to use let's bring my model in and show you guys the bramondo five-step wave routine you Using our five-step wave tech wave system. Oh, I got that right. I did it. I said it all. <laughs> I did it. And welcome Francesca. She has like a 2B texture. Would you say that, Francesca? Yes, I would say that. <laughs> She's like, whatever the fuck. <laughs> As you can see, the back of Francesca's hair has the most wave, which is very typical for people because usually you end up styling the top of your hair the most with heat. You end up coloring the top the most and you get the most damage at the top. This is her real texture. It is quite wavy. So we're trying to bring this texture to the front of her head too and make it all gorgeously wavy. How do you usually style your hair? I use WaveTech foam Ooh. and scrunch it up. And now she that we have- to say that. So. <laughs> what do you usually um, do though? 
I use the cream first and then the foam and then scrunch it up and diffuse it. Maybe a little bit of salty if it needs to, but usually right. just those two. Love it. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your hair? A little bit of in the dry. A little uh, bit? <laughs> I do color my hair regularly. Dry. I would say it's a little dry, you color your hair. Yes. So it's bound to happen. We yeah. use bleach on that, so. A lot. She always wants to be blonder and blonder. Every couple of months, it is necessary to touch up. So it tends to be dry. It gets a little freezy if I don't use any product. Well, your hair can get pretty wavy, right? Like if you oh, use yeah. the right products, you and can like get- And like a lot of volume, for sure. She sometimes <laughs> has a mane. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys how we transform Francesca's hair from this 2B texture to honestly like 2C and above. Like we can get this hair really, really wavy with the right technique and the right products. I've been dying to do my five step routine on Francesca's hair for the longest time. Finally, <laughs> is this a secret routine I've heard so much about? This is the one. Yay, I'm so excited. We're finally gonna do it and see how much wave you can actually get in your hair. This is going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Francesca's hair has been shampooed and conditioned by my lovely assistant. We obviously use our Wave Tech Wave Shampoo and Wave Tech Wave Conditioner, and her hair is feeling gorgeous, nice and hydrated and ready to take on some waves. So let's get into it. Step one is to go in with our Wave Tech Hydrating Wave Cream, and all I'm gonna do is pop that cap off. I'm gonna be doing about three squirts of this to start, that much product. I'm gonna distribute it throughout my hands like this. Gorgeous, it feels so nice. It smells amazing. So nice. Smell that. Oh my uh, god. Intoxicating. <laughs> yes. And now I'm gonna be going in with like the praying hands method. And I'm going to basically just take the bulk of her hair on one side and I'm going to start in the middle and not put too much pressure and really get an even coating throughout the entire head. I'm then gonna bring it up towards the top of her hair and into her fringe and into her edges because that gets a lot of frizz. And that is the driest parts of people's heads. And now with the excess product let's go in the back and get those little tiny pieces of breakage in the back and all that dryness and now we can go through everything put the rest of the product on the top of the head and get it really hydrated run your fingers through do some more of that praying hands moment getting it really nice and evenly distributed if you have a lot of hair maybe do four sections instead of two but this usually works for everybody get your hands in that hair okay we really want enough product all around if you have more hair than Francesca, think about doing a couple of more squirts of this product. Gorgeous, let's do the other side now. From the middle down, not too much pressure. Really getting those ends because this is our hydrating wave cream, okay? And usually the ends of your hair are the most dehydrated, right? So make sure you get it everywhere. This product is not going to weigh your hair down, even if you have very fine, fragile, hair. It's not going to feel like you put a ton of heavy cream in it. This is really going to give us the perfect base to now create those waves with the foam. It's already looking wavy. Do you see that? Yes. Like what? I mean, we're now going to go in with the iconic Wave Tech Wave Foam. So the Wave Tech cream gave us that hydration and a beautiful base to create those waves. Now we're going in with the foam. It's really going to have that kind of like velcro -y feel when you're scrunching it. I don't know. I love like being able to scrunch it, hearing that sort of like crunch. You know what I'm talking about? Right there. Yeah, it's very satisfying and it really helps create those waves and makes them last. Let's go in. Our step two is using our wide tooth comb. You've seen me do this before. It's become kind of iconic. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the first person to do it, but everybody when they use our wave tech foam now <laughs> uses a wide tooth comb. Do you do it? I've tried, yes. Not <laughs> as good as you, but I've tried. So all we gotta do is take our foam, put about 
you know, six squirts or so. And we're gonna start on her ends and we're gonna work our way up, getting all of that product distributed evenly. Now, if you have a lot of hair, consider doing like two sections, getting on the underneath part of her hair and then going on the top. And we're gonna do about six more squirts. I'm probably gonna do like 20 pumps on the entire one side of her head. A lot goes a little way. You can use a lot of this product on one head, but there is sort of a fine line between a lot and way too much because I've seen people really abuse this a little bit and you don't get the most optimal results. It kind of takes playing around with it a couple of times to really understand how much product you need. Honestly, it's pretty hard to use too much. So don't go crazy, but go a little crazy, if that makes sense. We want to hear this sort of sound. That's when you know you used a good amount. Definitely use your hands after you use the comb and get it right on those roots. That's gonna help deplete that frizz and make sure that that hair stays defrizz for a long period of time. Also get those baby hairs in the front, these ones right around the ears that are really f stubborn and annoying. Put that hair back down and let's just get that very top part of her head. And our third step is obviously to scrunch the hair. And I'll show you another thing I'm gonna do in a second, which is wrap the hair around a pen, a pencil, a marker, anything. So we're gonna take a small section at a time and really scrunch that hair. Make sure your hair is nice and wet when you do this, okay? That's an important thing from the beginning of this process. You wanna make sure there's enough water in the hair. And if your hair starts to dry, a spray bottle is your best friend. Really get up in those roots, okay? And don't pull on the hair. Just scrunch it and gently let it go. Scrunch it and gently let it go. And you'll see more and more wave start to form. Look at how insanely wavy her hair is right now. What the fuck? I never even knew your hair was this wavy. <gasps> Neither did I. <laughs> Now here's our fun little secret step. I have a bunch of different instruments here. Basically, I'm gonna wrap the hair around one of these to make kind of like faux curls, okay? It depends how big you want the waves to be or the curls. You know, obviously this would give us the biggest one, this would give us a medium, this would give you a tiny one. I think I'm gonna go with the medium one, okay? If you don't have like any wave in your hair, this will really help you. She has a lot already. So I kind of want to just fix these pieces in the front just to make them exactly how I want them to be. So I'm just gonna wrap the hair around that and then just slowly pull it off like that and she's gonna get like a really nice like squiggly wave right in the front and we're gonna go right on the top of her head right here and we're gonna put a nice curl in and drop it down beautiful so wherever the hair is lacking wave or curl use this to really add some definition in there Now, what I like to do to get extra volume in the hair is plop it, okay? Have you ever done that before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so now that we have all of this in here, we're gonna put her head all the way over and we're gonna take the towel, push it up and wrap it. And we're just gonna leave it in there for like one to three minutes. And that's gonna give us that really beautiful volume. And it's gonna help get some more waves going on up here as well. And on top of that, it's gonna take out some of that moisture so that when you go in to diffuse or let it air dry, it doesn't take as long. So we're not exactly twisting the hair. We're just folding it and gently pushing it up. That way it's not pulling her hair in the front. Okay, it's not pulling, right? No. We just want to be very gentle, okay? This is not a tight wrap. Just want to make that clear. I know you guys know that I hate tight wraps, but this is not it. You can also totally use a t-shirt or a microfiber towel, anything you have laying around the house. I don't notice a huge difference either way, so we're using a nice soft cotton towel. All right, let's take this down and just be gentle with it. Don't pull the hair and you can flip your hair back. Beautiful. So we're now gonna take our diffuser and go in, diffuse the whole thing and get it all nice and dry. You can also let it air dry, but if you want extreme maximum wave definition, you're gonna wanna use a diffuser. If you choose to air dry the hair, please make sure you're lightly scrunching every say 30 minutes or so as it dries and just keeping those waves in the hair as it continues to air dry. If you decide to diffuse, make sure you're not diffusing upwards. It gives you a lot of frizz. Just do it towards the hair or down. And we're done! Oh my god! I mean... Girl, you 
you look stunning. And obviously you guys, this is a very natural looking wave. It's not supposed to look like she put a curling iron to it and look exactly perfect. I'm obsessed with it. She never has this much definition. No. How does it feel to have so much hair? I love the volume <laughs> and the waves. I mean, jeez. It looks so good and it feels so soft. It's soft, it's yes, touchable, it's, it's not crunchy. Literally like air. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It looks incredible. And by the way, I didn't dry it 100%. When you diffuse the hair, make sure you're only drying the hair to about 90, 95% or else it gets a little bit frizzy. As these ends dry, it's going to be even more voluminous, even more delicious and gorgeous and soft and touchable and wavy and extra and fabulous. That is the routine. That is how we get these delicious waves and you can do this on any type of wave pattern. It works for everybody. Thank you, Francesca, for letting me use your hair and Thank your head. Thank you. I mean, Jesus. Don't tell Miss Manny Quinn I'm cheating on her with you. She's over there. We'll just uh, <laughs> pretend she doesn't know. I didn't get to show you guys how I use the Wave Revival Mist, and that's because I forgot to film it. After I finished diffusing her hair, I sprayed this over the top and gave it a one last scrunch. This is also something that Francesca is going to take home and use on her second day, third day, fourth day curls, or just whenever she wakes up in the morning. Just like a little spritz before work and she's good to go. Literally a lifesaver. That is the routine that I feel so passionate about. I know you guys are gonna try it and I cannot wait to see the results. Everything will be linked below for you. Please make a video, do a TikTok. I don't know, whatever you wanna do. I just love to see you guys actually try these things. That is the thing that makes me the happiest is when I get to help you guys achieve bigger and better things with your hair. I wanna see you live your ultimate hair fantasy. I hope I can be there to help you. And hopefully I can help some of you guys discover that you actually do have wavy hair because a lot of people don't think they do and they actually do. I'm just so beyond excited. Thank you guys for the success of my brand and watching me throughout the years. I am just so grateful to be living my fantasy of creating products and bringing confidence to people through those products and through my YouTube channel. It's pretty amazing. Make sure you guys check me out everywhere else and also Ex Mondo Hair and Ex Mondo Color for hair inspiration. You can check out everything from today's video as well as more of my hair care and hair color products linked below or go to xmondohair.com. If you want to check out more videos of me, you can do so right here and right here. Let's hang out more. It's fun. <laughs> and that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.